What's up, guys? Whoa, burning abyss. <clears throat> My ulti is coming in the mail soon, so. Till then, I'm waiting on my ulti. I'm just gonna use these. I just feel like making a deck profile because I got nothing better to do. Uh, Burning Abyss is a pretty good deck. It survived in the meta for like a bajillion years and it's still pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really I need to say. The deck's really good. Uh, I would play it still to this day. Uh, I'm playing the Trap variant. I feel like PK Fire, you're like, Fog Blade doesn't really do what it used to before, the PK Fire build, and I feel like the Block Dragon is just a bad version of N Emancipators. So, realistically, the Trap variant is probably the most ideal one. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the deck profile. We got right here two tour guides. Uh, yeah, this is your best normal summon in the deck, but it's also your easily, like, Ashable, Valor, Imperm, any hand trap, almost. <laughs> so, I usually use her as a follow-up play, but, yeah. I'd rather have Phoenix Rhino than uh, Tour Guide. Tour Guide's kind of more of a follow-up. Uh, let's see, we got Seer... And Graph, your two best Burning Abyss uh, monsters. They're all at one. I wish they were a little bit more, but you know, we can't really like beg for that shit. Uh, here you go. We got one Anki, Barbar, Bar, Rubik, Libic, Calcab, all those bad boys, all the one ofs. The Rubric, I like the Rubric. You could run, you could, one tour guide will be one access code talker with, uh, first you just, uh, summon rubric with this, link into Needle Fiber, special effect bailer, Celine, special effect bailer from the graveyard, and then make access code talker with a bunch of attack. So, for the three ofs, we got three Scarums, three Farfas. I feel like this is like staple. This card is a little slow, but I mean, the deck, you're building the deck so you could grind. Uh, and yeah, it's a pretty good grind deck. So these searches are pretty good. Besides, you're mostly gonna get tour guide. Uh, then far, far is a disruption for when you have Beatrice on the board. We got right here, uh, three Finnish Rhino Warriors. Uh, this is probably, my opinion, the best, sorry. <laughs> this is probably the best normal summon, in my opinion, if you have another Burning Abyss. You normal him, you special, you make your Dante, and you mill three, you get, use the effect of Rhino to go uh, get out your graph, special your Seer, link away for IP, affect the Seer, special Dante, special affect the Dante, add Seer to your hand, pitch the Seer for Beatrice, and you already have uh, two disruptions. So right here, I do have myself a hand trap lineup, three effect veilers, uh, three ash blossoms, and uh, I run. I like running this chick. Uh, since you do burn a lot with Barbar, like this adds more burn to it, so you're pretty much pretty hard to win in time. Because uh, this deck generally wants to grind, so you know if you're grinding your opponents with life points and stuff, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, we got right here two absolute king blackjack. I love this deck. I had this card back when 2015 16 when you used to dump him with Badante, banish him to get out your traps, and you get to manipulate your top three cards from your graveyard. I mean, from your deck. Uh, and yeah, it's busted. So, here, since we're running the trap lineup, we run no spells, no foolish. I don't feel like it does, it doesn't really advance your game state that much. Uh, yeah. For you to run it, like where are you gonna dump it far, far to banish something or like scarm? Like it's not really that uh, prevalent. Uh, we got here three trap tricks. Uh, this is really, really good since the major like every trap card here is a normal trap. So this ser basically searches out everything you want. Uh, here you go. We got three finished grievings. Uh, yeah, 
this bad boy is a good deck disruptor. They, they send Elich to the graveyard, you activate this, you send it back to the deck, and you dump a Farfa, or you dump a Skarm. And it's not once per turn either, so multiples of these are pretty good. Ah, uh, my bad, not that guy. <laughs> so we got Dynamiscus, three of these bad boys. Uh, it's, it's a good card. Like, you mill it, you activate a trap, it special summons itself. Like, it's a really good grindy card. It gives you access to, like, other link plays. Uh, yeah. Solid card. So, for the last two, I mean, last four, we got two Lost Winds. Not a useless card when sent to the graveyard. Returns back to your um, uh, set. <clears throat> and you could activate it again. And we got right here two Karma Cuts. Not as good as Dynamiscus, but it's still a very good card. It's a good disruption, and if your opponent has multiples in the graveyard, they're gone too. So, we're gonna show you the extra deck right now. We got right here two Dantes. You only need two. Uh, it's a really good card still. One of the best cards in the Burning Abyss lineup. Mill three. Pay us cost of mill three. Yeah. One living near Sea Dragon. You summon this in case your Seer or Graf gets destroyed or something you want gets destroyed. Not destroyed, uh, banished, sorry. And yeah, you just bring them back and then you're, in fact, you're just straight. One Beatrice, broken card. It would have dumped a monster, a card to from the deck to the graveyard. And then we got one Super Dante in case she gets destroyed by card effects. So we're gonna show the links. We got right here one gravity controller, just in case you're in a pinch and you only had one Dante on the field. That one Dante don't really do much, but it's kind of hard to get over this guy. So, and then he just bounces the card back. Uh, it can't be destroyed by battle. So this is really, really solid card. Let's see, we got uh, one uh, Nato Fiber, extra extender for uh, Celine and uh, Access Code Talker. IP Mascarena, you could end this with uh, IP and Beatrice. You could have two uh, disruptions with it. Plus your traps, this is a very, very uh, dangerous thing. Uh, we got right here the Nightmare Package. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Lamau. All right, well, I, it is Celine too. So the Nightmare Package and Celine, she's there just to get out, uh, what's his face? Uh, Access Code Talker, one Tropologic Bomber. You special summon your Burning Abyss, it gets banished, and all your cards in your uh, spell and trap zone get destroyed. It's another good time card. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a really good time card too. Uh, we got here one Access to Code Talker. This is a good OTKer. I prefer this over Boris or Dragon and Pops cards and you're at 5300, so that's really good. And then one Topologic Zerobos. You special, same thing, same, apply, same thing applies here. You special summon your Burning Abyss. It gets banished. Everything gets bad, and she comes back, gets hella boosted, and then you're gonna win. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's my Burning Abyss deck profile. Uh, I really like this deck. That's something I would want to play more often, but I'm not. Really, I'm really busy right now, so I can't really give you a a, a deck list or anything. Uh, I'm pretty close to finishing a couple more decks. I'm probably gonna post uh, online. There's also other things I'm gonna get, the uh, changes I made since the Rise of the Duelists came out and I can make changes to other decks. So what I would personally would like to play. Uh, but yeah, that was really just about it guys. Uh, take care and see ya.